Today, we're gonna do some more RV repair. Not really RV repair, more like alteration. What we're gonna do is, we are going to adjust the leveling jacks. And here's why. As you can see, the, um, the leveling jacks have a bunch of different different holes. These are almost all the way as far down as you can go. And part of the problem is, is that when we are on, on hills or we're coming off of a, of a steep, if we're coming off of a steep hill, these jacks will drag. And actually one time we even knocked off one of the snap pads because we hit a low bump. Um, and then a couple of times when we've gotten to our next destination, we've had just a pile of gravel on top here, which means we drug that whole uh, leveling jack through through the gravel, um, which is not good for them. It can bend them, break them, and then your RV really is gonna be in the shop because that's something that you can't repair. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to take these jacks and move that mechanism up at least one notch. We'll see how that goes. Maybe even a little higher. Uh, we're gonna do that on the rear jacks and the middle jacks. The front jacks are already up pretty good and they clear every time so we don't really have to mess with those. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to take off the Valterra stabilizers. These guys here. And then we have one on the other side underneath the stairs. The Valterra uh, stabilizers, they don't bear any weight. They just keep the RV from, from rocking as much. Uh, but if you don't take those out, uh, when you go to, to uh, raise the jacks, it'll smash those because they're just aluminum. And uh, we had that issue when we were leaving Branson in the middle of the night, evacuated at 3 a.m. Uh, we went to go hook the truck up, so we, we raised the jacks up and smashed one of the Valterra stabilizers. But uh, if you want to know more about the Valterra stabilizers, we did a video on that a few months back. And I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can go watch that video if you want to. Let's get started. All right, we have the uh, we have the Valterra stabilizers out. We make sure our chalks are still in because when we put those rear rear jacks up, even though we got the front jacks down, we don't want anything happening. We don't want the uh, RV rolling away or anything. So we're gonna make sure our chalks are in, and then we are going to put up the rear jacks. All right, we're about to find out how tight these things are on there. Uh, that three quarter inch bolt. I'll try to break these loose. Now there is a, a washer on the back side, so if that starts spinning also, I may have to hold the other side um, to make sure it doesn't spin so that these come out. You can see that the whole mechanism, all the stuff that makes this thing work, is all connected to this. So once you disconnect all these bolts, you can move that whole thing up. You just want to make sure none of these lines get kinked when you're moving this thing up. So. Uh, Let's give it a try. I ain't gonna BS you. Those things are on there pretty tight. Um, I was on that bar and I had my whole body lifted up off the ground before they finally broke loose. Um, so it's it's takes some doing, and um, I mean I haven't had to do it yet. But you know um, when I get to the other, other jacks, if I have a difficult time. I may have to use a cheater bar, get more leverage uh, to break those bolts free. Once they're free now though, um, pretty loose, should be able to get them off and adjust this thing up. All right, now I got all the bolts out. Just hold it, my foot. It's not heavy at all. Um, so you see here, I'm gonna move those up. Just one eyelet and I'll put the top bolts in first just to stabilize it in place. I'll line the rest of them up, get them put in. But what I'm really concerned the most about is watching these lines. When I move this thing up, I wanna make sure that those lines don't get I want to make sure those lines don't get too kinked up up there. So um, we'll make sure that we take a look at that while we're doing this. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this breaker bar. Um, I'm going to use that to tighten these back up. I'm going to keep my, my hand on the back side of this on the nut, make sure the nut's not spinning at the same time. So I'm going to make sure I get that as tight as I can get it. I'm going to tighten them all up just to get them cinched, and then I'm gonna really put some weight on it to make sure they get cinched down just as hard as they were when I had to take them off. Because if they were on that tight, they need to be back on that tight. Woo! They're on. 
and that's moved up and you can see that the lines are uh, pretty good not kinked up doesn't look like it's gonna be an issue now in this middle one this is the one closest to the door the doors right above me um, it's a good thing that that we're only trying to go up one because uh, we went up one and had like this much room between the top of this jack and like a crossbar that's up there you can't see it because this is in the way and I don't think you could see it if I pointed the camera up in there but um, you would not be able to go up one more hole because you're that close on the top of this jack hitting one of the crossbars up there and so up one is as high as we're gonna be able to go but I think it's gonna be plenty anyway but just uh, for you to know if you're trying to do it that's about as high as you can go on on this one on the other one I think you could on the back ones I think you could still go up another one maybe two um, but then you start running into the lines you know getting kinked with your hydraulic fluid and stuff so um, hopefully up one will be will be good now for the jack on this side I already got most of the bolts out but for this side because we're working so close to the uh, to the tank I uh, went ahead and disconnected the stinky slinky from here and I capped it off and uh, just messing around here I always I always wear my gloves just because you know messing around here something comes loose if I hit this this uh, this wrench and, and knock that cap off or something anything I don't want to take any chances uh, so I went ahead and, and did all that on this side so you have to do that on this side it looks like the middle one on this side probably could go up in more it's just that one middle one on the other side it can only go up one notch but again I think one notch is gonna be plenty for all these so I'll get this one up this is the last one and then we'll go and level this bad boy and see how she does all right now that we got all the, the jacks up adjusted up uh, the next thing to do is we got the slides in so now we have to uh, hit the auto level and see how they work well that wasn't terrible uh, we got all the the jacks adjusted up and uh, back leveled and no problems at all and so we'll keep you updated on if we drag any of these on the ground uh, those rear ones can come up more if we need to we're gonna see how it does on one level uh, those middle ones they're kind of where they're gotta be but if we still drag we'll move those back ones up even more I'm just kind of worried about those lines getting kinked up uh, the hydraulic lines getting kinked up if we start moving up too high but I think this will be good we hope that this video helped you if you're thinking about raising your leveling jacks on your RV. And uh, let us know if you did and how it worked out for you. Like we do at the end of every one of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. And we appreciate you watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.